Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're back again with a scheme out of the Eagles playbook. This is my favorite uh, scheme to run in the Eagles playbook. It's also found in other playbooks, but it's out of the gun tray open offset. And there's three main plays you want to run out of it. Starting off is the halfback swing. The auto motion is going to definitely be effective in this formation. If it, they're in any type of zone, you're going to get great blocking from your receivers. And they're going to be almost unable to cover it unless they manually try and user it. You see here, even against a cover two, we get great blocking motion. The running back out and we're still able to get big yards even against a cover two with a hard flat also if they are in man coverage and they are not lined up uh, the linebacker that's covering covering the running back and they don't have him on the right side of the field to jump that quick motion you see even against man the guy is too delayed to make the play so we're able to block everyone and still have the motion swing guy open now the play that complements this is the motion Z spot and the only adjustment you want to do is slant your left receiver because they're going to try and start using that just like I am and they're going to try and jump that halfback route and you see it leaves that little slant hitch route wide open. And then if they are in man-to-man -man coverage and they take that linebacker and try to user the running back or try to um, jump the motion route again, you see that. Uh, we act like we're using him, and we're going to try and jump that, and it's going to leave the backside slant wide open, uh, especially for a low pass. You want to throw a low uh, 6 o'clock pass lead, and he sometimes gets a burst out uh, from the defender. So another thing they might try is go to a cover 2 and then manually use that swing route because it's going to beat any type of zone, uh, and they're going to try and jump it. This has happened so many times, it either leaves the slant hitch or it leaves that tight end wide open across the middle of the field for a quick uh, 10 to 15 yard gain. And then another thing a lot of people like to try and do is go to a cover two, play a hard flat, and if you still are in the motion Z spot, that's going to open up the corner route uh, to be wide open. So your, your reads are going to go man to man, they're going to go to the slant route, corner route, against any type of zone, it's going to go to the uh, lant hitch uh, tight end coming across and then you want the corner out to be your last read if they are playing any type of cover two zone if they are in a cover three or cover four where no one's playing the flats you can still hit that running back route out of the backfield it's just you want to hit it sooner rather than later because if you hit it a little bit too late you might get a weird animation so if you want to hit it later you have to wait till he sits then you can throw it and it's more like a hitch route so make sure you run a lot of the motion halfback screen route. Very, very effective against zone coverage. And then this complements it uh, tremendously because the defenders or your opponent has to be so worried about that uh, route to the running back because it could be a screen and that's going to make them either jump the halfback or it's going to make them have to uh, take a player away and leaves either the slant corner or slant hitch route wide open. This play wide cross flood is used to, uh, to be used situationally and you just want to slant the backside, streak the tight end and you see we're either going to have the slant coming across but your main read wants to be you know against a deeper player playing cover four, cover three to hit that Sammy Coates post route coming across. This is used uh, very little, only time I use it is if I need a big gain down the field but I rarely ever use this route. It's just something you can mix in in case they are playing a lot of underneath coverage. And then the last play that's gonna be bread and butter mixed in with the previous two plays is the inside zone. If they do not put anyone in the box, if they only have three, four players in the box, you definitely wanna run this inside zone. It's still one of the best runs in the game. So once again, the main three plays you wanna run are the screen, then the motion Z spot, and then this inside zone. Those are your three best combination plays to run out of this formation. Like I said, if they're stacking the box, run the motion Z spot, or you can run the halfback screen. And if they spread everyone and take them out of the box, go into the audible of the halfback uh, zone. 
Hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is actually one of my favorite uh, schemes to run. It's so fun because your opponent really doesn't know what to cover. It's, it's such a great offense to run. I love running it when I, you know, I'm using the Eagles playbook. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to become a patron for the best schemes, blitzes, tricks, and money plays, and all ebooks, head on over to the link in the description below.